All right, let's take a look at this next one here. Um, I will put my equation up here, y equals mx plus b. This is the slope. This is the y-intercept. Let's take a look and see if we can get this equation going here. First, I'll start off with the y-intercept because that'll be a piece of cake. Uh, where it crosses the y-axis, that's the vertical axis. That would be right here. So that would be a positive 1. So I'm just going to get rid of this guy right here, and I will put plus 1. Okay. Uh, now I just need the slope, and for the slope we're just going to have to identify a couple of points we can go between. Uh, and you can use anything as long as it crosses perfectly. That's why when we're using paper and pencil, you've got to be really, really exact when you do this, um, or else you'd be off by a little bit. So here's a point that I know for sure that's going to work. That comes together perfectly right there. And then let's take this guy right here, and there's another one. Okay, so I know automatically this is going to be a negative slope because it's bottom right to top left. So I'm going to see well, how many is up. One, two, three, four up. And then how many to the left? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, negative four and six. I think this is going to be something that you should be able to simplify. Uh, so if I did like divide by 2 and divide by 2, because you always want to simplify those slopes um, so you get the smallest pattern you can, looks like we have negative 2 over 3. Okay, That's going to be our slope. But I'm just going to find another one just to do real quick, just to make sure it's the same thing. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. Those are pretty close together. Um, 2 up, 1, 2, 3 over. So that does fit what we had here for a pattern. So I'm just going to take this one out here. And I'm going to do negative 2 over 3. There's my solution to this problem. Now, if I want to, uh, I'm just, I mean, and you don't have to do this, but I'm doing this because I want to prove to you that this does, in fact, work. So if I get my T chart out, and let's find some points that's on this line here. Um, let's go with, we did this one right here. Let's just make sure this one works in here just to prove it. Okay, that's 9, negative 5. Okay, so we got 9, negative 5. 9 and negative 5. Let's see here. All right, so let's try it out. So we have negative 2 over 3, and that's going to be times x, uh, and x is going to be 9. Okay, and I'll write this over here just so I remember 9, negative 5. So I need to times it by x, which is 9. Uh, if I do this, I get negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 thirds, which would equal negative 18 thirds would equal negative 6. Now, if I add 1 to it, go back towards 0, 1, I get negative 5. So this, this equation does, in fact, work for the line that we had here. This one is pretty similar, except for they do not give you the line to start with. They just give you two points. So if they just give you two points, you're going to have to put them on there, work your graph in, draw a really straight line with that ruler, and see what we got here. So if I do 2, negative 5, it's going to be right here. Uh, if I do negative 2, 3, then that's going to be right here. So I will get rid of these right here off to the side, and I'll get my line in there. Uh, and again, you want to make sure that this is as straight as you can possibly get it, um, especially with that ruler when you get that out you want to make sure you're doing a really good job with that uh, or else you may have some problems with your points so now I've got my y equals mx plus b I gotta get everything in where it belongs here okay so my y intercept looks like it crosses at negative one so I'm just gonna replace this and I'm gonna put minus one uh, looks like I can get my slope in a couple ways, I can just use the points that are on here, would be perfectly fine. Um, this would be a negative slope because it's going in this direction, bottom right to top left. So I'm just going to put a negative to start with here in my slope. We need two numbers for the slope. Top number is how many up and then up or down, I guess, and then how many over. So let's try it out here. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to get there. And then one, two, three, four, over. So eight over four, or negative eight over four, excuse me, would be negative two. So that's going to be my slope. 
So that's the pattern right there. And again, I'm not going to write negative 2 over 1. I'm just going to write negative 2. Uh, and then assume that if we were going back to doing this pattern, it would be 2 and then the bottom number would be 1. So for instance, if I here's a point right here. So my pattern should work if I just go up 2 and left 1 because it's a negative slope. Up 2, left 1. Up 2, left 1. Up 2, left 1. Or if I go opposite, down 2, left 1. Down 2, left 1. Down 2, left 1. One more with the points here. I'll put my equation on here. I better put the points on just so I don't get that in the way. Uh, 4, 1 right there, 8, 2, right there, okay. Now, here's an example of, you know, you know one thing you're going to need is you're going to need that y-intercept. And on this, if we just connect these, it doesn't go through the y-intercept. So you have to make sure you extend your line uh, over all the way through the graph. So I will take this, uh, and I will extend this all the way through the graph right here, and that looks pretty good. Okay, we'll take that, and then I'll extend it the other way too, because really, this should be going in both directions uh, continuously, because anything on this line is going to work for the equation that we're going to make. So, y-intercept, oh, it's zero, okay, it crosses at zero, so I could put plus zero if I wanted to, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off like we don't need it here. Uh, and then you just assume that, well, it's going to cross at zero. That's where it's going to cross at. If you don't see like a plus, a plus zero or if you don't see a plus anything or a minus anything, zero is where it crosses at. Now we need our uh, slope. So I'll just start here. This is a positive. It's going from bottom left to top right. Um, so I'll get ready to formulate it here. It's going to be up 1, and it's going to be right 1, 2, 3, 4. So my slope is going to be 1 fourth. So I will just stick that in front of the x right there. My slope is going to be 1 fourth. So that's my equation. Again, remember, I could put plus 0 because it crosses at 0, but you know it's something that you don't really need to put. It's like if your answer was 0y for a problem, you don't really even need to put anything because there isn't anything to put. Or if your answer to a fraction problem was zero tenths, there's no use even putting it because it's just zero. We don't need it. Okay, so this would be it. Um, just to check real quick to make sure it works. This is this is always a good idea if you're unsure. Pick a point. Uh, there's a point eight two. So if I do my table eight two, let's see if it works. One fourth times x. So that'd be one fourth times eight over one when you're doing a multiplication problem. That's eight fourths. I don't need to add anything to it, so eight fourths is two. So that did work out. All right. These are two that you are going to do on your own. Um, I didn't put any on there where you had to draw it yourself because. It's not really any different. You just have to draw it on there. So we're going to go with this for now. Um, try it out. Remember, what we're doing is we're filling in the blanks here. Okay, um, We're taking our equation, y equals mx plus b, which is our traditional equation for the line, and we're fitting in the parts. The y-intercept needs to go here. The slope needs to go here. Why don't you pause this video, uh, give it a try, ask questions if you've got them, and we'll see how you do.